All right, what's good with y'all boys, man? I know it's been a minute and shit. I've been, uh, since I made a bid on this shit and something like that. But I'm going to just do like a little trade breakdown because I didn't record this. And just so y'all niggas don't think I'm kept, I'm, me personally, I've been struggling with consistency ever since I got past like a thousand. Like, like I'll, I, my highest I got was to 1200. And then like, it just kept dwindling down from there type shit. So on my account, like I was at 1200 I took a fat-ass loss because I had risked more than I usually risk. And I had lost like 500 one day. So I've been trying to – I've been going up, down this. I was at 400 and now I'm back at like 870 right now. Like my account is back at 870 But I might just chill because – I've really been doing trash, like, so I only got 870 for the month, bro. I know next week on the 22nd, uh, that's like a Monday, I'll be able to finally withdraw. And I just want to withdraw as much as possible. That's why I'm going to just chill, bro. I didn't do as good as I wanted to do this month. Well, a whole month and shit, I really did trash. But, yeah, bro. That that was just it, but I'm gonna do like a trade breakdown, and this is the only way I can see myself to really capitalize on profit. So my whole thinking on this Nasdaq trade, I took two trades. I had one on the on gold too. Um, so we got a 60 minute level right here. Right that. Yeah, we had like a, a 60 minute level right here. It could not break past this point. Or if you wanted to, you could have did this as well. You could have did that, but it just made. Yeah, you could have. You could. You could have did that right there. But for me, it was a five minute demand right here. You know what I'm saying? It had to fill this gap. So once it rejected, even though it was like, it was getting close to the news, as you can see. Um, I entered like 10 minutes before uh, the New York Open, which I don't usually do, but it was just too clean of a setup. So I ended up putting, ended up getting in for a buy right here. And my stop was like below this wick. And I think I ended up, I took profit like right here. And then I left a second TP like around this area. I really had it like up here at first. But I ended up getting out with the second TP around like around like that area. I should have really let it run some more, but it's whatever though. Um, yeah, and as soon as I took my first profit, I took 80%. I moved my shit to break even. That's the only way, bro, because I have to secure profits. I can let the second TP run, but I don't like I don't know if I can just sit there and let the whole thing go and not get no profits and shit. And the second trade I took, bro, was on gold. Now, on gold, it was pretty much the same thing, bro. Um, this this right here, this big one, this is my one-hour level. This was a 15-minute supply and demand. Um, the big one is the 15-minute. And then this small one right here, uh, this was a five-minute supply and demand from right here. So once it wicked up like this, I think I got into a one to one and I left the runner, but it ended up coming against me. So I got in like right here. And I think I put my stop like right here. And I barely got the one to one. Yeah, I got the one to one right here. And I, I left a runner like up here. But as you can see, really, as soon as it got to the one-to-one -one, and I put my shit to break even, it went against me and I lost. So that's pretty much how I had the 471 day. And to be honest, bro, I can really be up way more than 870, but it was my inability to hold, like, and not even – I wasn't using the second TP, so I'll just take the one-to-one -one and be like, all right, you know what I'm saying? But – even with the second TP, you still have 20% running. Like, you, because when I was back testing, I found out, like, damn. I'm just going to use a random example, bro. Say, like, 
I got in like, let me delete this shit. Say I got in like, like right here, bro. Right. You feel me? And say this was like my target. And then I had a second TP running like all the way down here. You know what I'm saying? You be fully capitalizing off moves and shit, bro. And cause after I get the one to one and I move my shit to break even, I'm leaving. Like it does not matter. Like if I get stopped out, um, I already secure profits. It don't matter, bro. You feel me? That's why the second TP is so important to me. Like that's the thing with this trading shit, bro. I feel like it's like I'm profitable, I guess. And then I'm still in profit, but like I'm trying to live off this bitch. You feel me? So I'm gonna do anything I can possibly do to get this shit right. So what I figured out is you have to make strategies and you have to do stuff to like adapt to your psychology. Like me, I don't like having my trade running for a super long time and I didn't secure nothing. That's why I go ahead. If it's like a one to one or one to two, I secure eighty percent, and then I just leave a runner. You feel me? I'm leaving a runner. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like, and I just feel like that's the best way for me, bro. Or if I get the one-to-one, -one, leave a runner. And if you, you know what I'm saying, you already took 80%, bro. Like, you trying to take advantage of the market. That's, that's the best way for me. Now, some people, like, they could get into a move like this. You know what I'm saying? They can get into a move or some shit like this. And then just let it run all the way down here about taking no pot. I, I can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I got to I take 80%. I'm letting 20% run, my nigga. Like, straight up. But, yeah, that's just a little trade breakdown um, for the day, man. Um, I wish I would have held that shit to all the way up here or something. Or that shit just took the fuck off. You know what I'm saying? But it's cool, though. I mean, it's getting easier. But the last two weeks, bro, I was just breaking. It will be like, I'll make money, give it back. Make money, give it back. Make money. And it's really like a psychology thing. That's why I said like, I really wanted to chill. I really wanted to chill and just withdraw my shit. Because like I told y'all, bro, uh, I, I got to wait for this one job on December the 4th. So, like, when you don't have that consistent income coming in, or I feel like if you trading, like, I don't have that many withdrawals, like, to be honest. Like, if I withdrew money back then when I was trash, like, I would give that bitch right back. Like, I would draw it, break some, would put uh, deposit my money back in there and try to get it back and then lose all my money. So, it's not like I really, like, you know what I'm saying? I really can use that shit, but this would be, like, my first withdrawal, so it's kind of getting to me, like, oh, damn, my account went down, bro. I'm not going to be able to withdraw, bro. That's why I was, I'm going to chill. I'm taking all this shit out of the account. I'm letting y'all know that. I'm taking all this shit out of the account. Now, after that, I'm going to leave a buffer because I'm going to be able to withdraw by weekly and shit, but I, I got to withdraw all this shit just to make sure it's real. You know what I'm saying? Like, because at the end of the day, I'm going to be getting 70% of 870. And I'm going to be getting my 150 refund bet. And I'm going to be getting like a per small percentage of like my phase one and phase two shits in the combine. So I'm trying to feel the whole thing, bro. Like, like, damn, all this money just came from trading. You know what I'm saying? And I'll be able to withdraw by bi weekly now. So. And that's going to happen on the 22nd or 23rd, I think. That's why I'm just like, I just might chill in the account, bro. Bat test, get my psychology right. Because I want I want that withdrawal, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now, I could have did way better, but I just had to adapt to my strategy, bro. I already came a long way, bro. I mean, I feel like this is pretty good for somebody who's only like a year or some change in, bro. But I'm just letting y'all know, bro, I will be taking off even more than this shit, bro. But that's just a quick video, bro. I just wanted to let you niggas know, bro. And I'm out this house.